built himself up to be like this, you know, vice lord and like gangster and like coke rap or whatever, like built himself up to be someone that I could always feel protected with and trust. And then I slowly saw his downfall, like after we got beat up and I saw like how that affected him. I saw, you know, how, and he even made a comment to me. He was like, I feel like you don't respect me after what happened in Buffalo, you know? And I'm like, well, I kind of did lose respect for you because now I see that I, I'm not protected. Like you always said I would. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. As we know, Freddie Gibbs is going through some things, y'all. Um, DJ Academics calls him Spready Gibbs. And again, I'm not really so familiar with Freddie Gibbs. I know he's a rapper. Guys say that he is a good rapper. He got fire content or fire verses, which I don't really, I don't really care about that. Um, I don't know the guy. But Freddie Gibbs and DJ Academics did have somewhat of a beef going on, right? And he is from the Geary, Indiana, Chicagoland area. And um, basically, he was trying to um, holler at this star online on Instagram. This is what I, again, brothers is crazy, man. Like you brothers get involved. Like you got every opportunity in the world. Then you guys start dealing with these young ladies on here who y'all know that y'all don't have no chance of respect. Like, you know, that you ain't gonna have no print, no, no chance of respecting her. Right. This is a lot of men do this, but then you want to start smashing it up. And, and I'm not, I get, you know, she, 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 she is fine. She do look good. But Destiny, also known as the Fit Mommy, he got her pregnant. Now, I can see if Freddie Gibbs was a young dude, 25, 28. Bro, you 40. You 40 and you got a star pregnant. All right. Now, after she exposed him, he went on to Twitter with this uh, screenshot talking about he ain't got no phone. But his problems is getting worse because guess what happened? DJ Academics calls the lady on the phone. The baby mama in exposed. I mean, it's terrible. The girl is called. Let's play the clip of how academics did him with his baby mama on the phone. We're going to come back. Play the clip. Freddie, I know you tuned in too. Don't you worry, buddy. We got you. Hello. Destiny, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, is that your Instagram? At the Fit Mommy? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because I thought somebody like was posting on your Hey, I'm on stream, so I gotta let you know. Yeah, I'm watching. Oh, well, I know you're watching, but rather than talk about you and, and, and you know, I don't want to have too much crazy of a conversation because I think you have just so much to say which we can't cover completely on stream. Um, but I do want some quick reactions from you. Okay. Just because I know a lot of people who are watching this are like, you know, I, I think they're trying to wrap their head around this and they're like, well, what do you feel about, well, you obviously exposed them. But what do you feel about, like, I've never really liked him. Um, but, like, his character is kind of being, like, you know, uh, uh, um, crystallized on social media. What, right. do you, what do you feel about everybody talking about him, which, which you know, some people might be like, well, still, he, he's going to be the father of your child. Well, honestly, like, and I have no reason to, like, lie about anything. You know what I mean? Um it was it was like watching the downfall of Freddie Gibbs, and it was like so weird because when he first contacted me, I didn't know who he was, right? And then when I met up with him, he built himself up to be like this, you know, vice lord and like gangster and like coke rap or whatever, like built himself up to be someone that I could always feel protected with and trust. And then I slowly saw his downfall, like after we got beat up and I saw like how that affected him. I saw, you know, how, and he even made a comment to me. He was like, I feel like you don't respect me after what happened in Buffalo, you know? And I'm like, well, I kind of did lose respect for you. Cause now I see that I, I'm not protected. Like you always said I would. 
You know what I mean? So that makes sense. You should be protected. I mean, it, he it, says it in hip hop. He's a big vice. He says VL. Well, that's the thing. And and whenever he would like rep his set and like, oh, I'm VL, whatever. It, it would make me feel like, okay, he knows people that know people that know people that can protect me, right? And I always felt protected around him and his friends. And then when I saw that he wasn't really like that, I was like, oh, shit. like what what's going on? This person is not who he says he is. And that, that was frustrating for me because I wanted to believe that he was like this great dude. You know what I mean? No, hey, hey listen, for what it's worth, and and by the way, you know, for everybody who's watching, you know, I always try to own up to my too because I'm not perfect as well. Because I feel like I, I've I've thrown words at you too, like you know, because you were with him at the time, whatever, whatever. Especially after the fight, I'm gonna be honest though. In hindsight, yo, you held that down, especially during that moment when everyone was coming at him and there's a video or whatever. You held him down to the utmost that any woman could have. Which, I'm going like, to be honest with you, that's dope. It's like I held him down, but I didn't get anything in return for my loyalty. You see what I mean? So, it's like, and, and I say that to say, like, I was taken aback by it because my chain got snatched in that fight. And I already spoke, you know, to Benny. He said I could have my back, which is fire. But, um, uh, I know Benny's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the, the next, the you very should, next Were day, you pregnant then? No, 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 I wasn't pregnant. Then. Okay, thank God. But the very next day after after that fight, he went and he bought himself a new watch and he did not replace my chain. And so I started to see him do little shit like that just like leave me on the back burner and he thought I was just always going to stick around. And I think he thought that I wasn't going to come out about my pregnancy. I think that he really thought that I was just going to be quiet about the whole thing because I contacted Lambo. I contacted his assistant. I contacted his whole team. And I was trying to keep it from being messy. I didn't want to bring it to social media. I really didn't. But the only way Freddie will respond is through social media. You just said the most important thing that I've felt for the last, like, you know, again, the issues, I don't know if you, you know, I, I try to give a little background to, to issues that I have with him or we allegedly have with each other. And it's like, it, stupid comments or just like some simple innocuous comments turned into beef because he became super performative online. And then it's like, yo, that comment just turned into some other. And you're only like he was just always on social media. That, that's been his mo though. He's, right. he's he's a guy where, you know, um, I think he's been doing comedy recently because I've seen him do a comedy show for whatever reason. Like he just looked at social media, and that's the the vehicle that he feels like he should form a, an opinion or or some type of image around and he's unwilling to come i don't know i don't get it. it it was frustrating like the whole the last like six months of our relationship was really frustrating because he did tell me like i don't want you filming boy girl anymore and i respected him in that light and i said you know what like if you don't want me to do that i won't do that which is already an l right because in the beginning you told me that you were fine with it so Gabby. you're switching up on me wait wait he told you he was fine so he was fine with you like you know, because he met you doing that, right? Freddie Gibbs was the first person that I ever sent my viral video to. He was the first person when we were just friends. And he was like, I'm so proud of you. You're so independent. I love it. He would always tell me that he loved that I was independent. You guys heard that, right? Look, I, I, I want to know. How do you feel, bro? Like, the girl is on here talking about uh, pretty much that you're a lame guy. This is what she's saying right the lady is saying she can't protect her you said you a vice lord you got your chain took then you went and bought another watch you didn't get her a new chain after that you know what i'm saying then she talked about the the, the, the girl on girl or the boy girl you wanted her to stop doing that then at first she was talking about she was proud of her she's independent she sent you her first viral clip and again i know women can lie and say things but the lady is putting in a lot of receipts bro and it look it looks bad 
And I want to tell you guys that a lot of you, a lot of brothers, as far as black men, a lot of brothers is not ready for the success. Y'all say y'all ready for y'all not ready for that. You know, this is one of the things that a brother's got to really understand. Are y'all ready for the success y'all say y'all ready for? Because when you, when you, when you, when you like somebody like in, you know, by the time you get 35, 36, you should be done with the foolishness brothers. Y'all should be past that. All the buffoonery, all of the idiocracy, all the weaving and sailing, you should be done with that. You know damn well you're not supposed to be no damn, oh, damn near 40 years old out here playing stupid games like this. At 40? 40? Something? Close to 40? And and and, and I'm just trying to say, man, I can see if you're a young guy going through, but not, not, not no OG like this guy. And that's because a lot of brothers are just not ready for success. You're getting the money. You out here dealing, and again, you're out here dealing with a lady. You know that she's not solid. You know that's a woman you can't deal with. You can't respect her. Why are you dealing with her? So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.